Norwich 0 Liverpool 3. Hosts Rue missed penalty as Takumi Minamino scores twice to fire Reds to Carabao Cup fourth round. Curtis Jones and the rest of his baby squad were at primary school the last time Liverpool won this competition. But Jones, the senior statesman among Jurgen Klopp's younger players he reached 50 appearances on Tuesday night, was just one of the stars who proved that this club has some proper talent coming through. It was only Norwich, of course, the team who are currently on course to deliver yet another lamentable top-flight season. But man of the match Jones was joined by three players all making their debuts for Klopp. Kate Gordon, at the ripe old age of 16, was unleashed on the Norwich defence, while there were also debuts for 18-year-old right-back Conor Bradley and midfielder Tyler Morton, who came on at half-time. But Jones' mature performance in the heart of Klopp's midfield, it is easy to forget he is only 20, was the standout display in a comfortable win over Norwich, whose embarrassing start shows no sign of improving. Takumi Minamino dampened the spirits of the home fans with an early opener, and Norwich's Greek winger Christos Tsoulas missed a penalty before half-time. Divock Origi scored early in the second half to end any hopes of a recovery before Minamino scored his second. Betting special get Joshua to win in rounds 1-6 at 61 or anytime at 25-1 Liverpool last won the League Cup in 2012 by beating Cardiff on penalties, and since then, the competition has not been particularly kind to them. While Klopp has moaned about this competition in the past, he will not mind it if his team keeps progressing while being able to avoid using all of his A-listers. Klopp made nine changes from the 3-0 win over Crystal Palace on Saturday. While it was a young side, it was not quite like the quarter-final against Aston Villa in 2019, when Liverpool fielded the under-23s in a 5-0 defeat, as Jurgen Klopp's first team were in Qatar for the Club World Cup. Gordon, aged just 16, arrived at the club in February from Derby in a pounds one million deal rising to three million pounds. His appearance at Carrow Road guaranteed Derby another £100,000, and they could certainly do with the cash. Right back Bradley, meanwhile, has played senior football for country before his club. The 18-year-old also became the first Northern Ireland international to feature in a competitive game for Liverpool since Sammy Smith in 1954. It was also an emotional night for Joe Gomez, who was club captain on only his second start of the season, having returned from a serious knee injury sustained in training while on England duty 10 months ago. Goal. Norwich 0-1 Liverpool, Minamino, 4 the ball falls to Minamino in the box, and he strikes under the goalkeeper from 5 yards out to put Liverpool in front. You watch live on Sky Sports Football and main event pick.twitter.com ixfblnls 0s Norwich switched to a back three to help bolster the defence, but that did not help much. After just three and a half minutes, Minamino was unmarked to shoot through Angus Gunn's legs after a riggy knocked down Costas Tsimika's that corner. certainly took the pressure off Liverpool's two youngsters and Gordon was enjoying himself out on the right. He came close to scoring an outstanding debut goal, but... After having too much speed for Billy Gilmore while cutting inside, dragged a shot just wide of Gunn's post. Norwich finally woke up, but Irish striker Adam Ida could only manage a tame side foot at Keoinkin Kelleher after Ibrahimia Konate, Liverpool's only summer signing, made one of a few silly mistakes. Norwich got the chance they had been working towards with a penalty after Bradley shoved Demi Janowlis in the back. A £9.3 million summer signing from Pauk, teenage winger Tsalas delivered an awful penalty, straight down the middle with Keller saving with his legs. Tsalas had scored twice on his debut in the 6-0 thrashing of Bournemouth in the previous round. Pierre-Lise Mellou, another of Norwich's signings in their £50 million summer spree, wasted a further good chance with a poor finish. And Norwich were made to pay for such wasteful finishing with Tsimika's crossing for Riggy, who found the space between Grant Hanley and Ben Gibson to score with a header. Both Norwich defenders looked in disbelief at each other, although this has been a common theme once again at the back this season for the Canaries. Bradley deserves credit for starting that move, which also included a clever but simple pass from Jones to the left. Arrighi should have made it 3-0 a couple of minutes later, but Minamino got the third with 10 minutes left by beating Gunn at his near post after being released by Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. On that occasion, Timu Pucky and Janaulas were the culprits with, yet more sloppy play. You can see why teams currently love paying Norwich. Something has to give under Daniel Fark, even though majority shareholder Delia Smith has no desire to make a change. The team is incapable of defending against better teams, even though they are too good for the championship, having won the title twice in three years. Goal. Norwich 0-2 Liverpool, Origi, 
50 Divock Origi doubles Liverpool's lead with a brilliant header. You watch live on Sky Sports Football and main event pick.twitter.com 5QT9 SKDLST ideally, Norwich, Fulham, West Brom and Watford need to create their own mini division between the Premier League and Championship. There were plenty of jeers on the final whistle. They are not calling for Fark's head at Carrow Road in the same way Newcastle's fans are desperate for Steve Bruce to leave. Despite having just signed a new four-year contract, if the defeats keep on coming, there will be a time when a new manager will have to be on the club's menu. Free bets, get over £2,000 in new customer deals.